Hello everyone, uh, I hope you've had a, a fantastic weekend. Uh, I received some disturbing news on Saturday actually, um, which I want to talk to you about. Um, our friend Nayak Orbani, um, who uh, some of you may know, this is the uh, Iranian dissident, uh, who goes to pro-Palestine marches and holds a banner saying Hamas are terrorists and repeatedly gets attacked by the uh, protesters. Uh, and yet the police, instead of um, defending him, they normally end up arresting him. Um, well, he's been to several court cases and in each court case, uh, the cases have been dismissed and the police, the police have been criticized uh, for making the arrest, but for some reason, they don't seem to learn from their experience. And on Saturday, they've arrested him again. Let's just go and watch the video together, um, see what's happening. Uh, standing up in front of the protests, holding a banner saying Hamas is terrorist. Well, they are. They are prescribed by the UK government as a terrorist group. And look what the protesters do now. They come towards them aggressively. They try to hide the banner. So that in its way is expressing support for a prescribed terrorist group. And then look at that one. He grabs the uh, Union Jack flag in front of the police officer, takes it away. And the police don't do anything. He just grabs the flag and walks away uh, with it in front of the police officer who decides to ignore it. And then look what happens now. So more, more and more of them are coming round. And the police take away Mark and Niak. And it might have been all right if they just take him away. But look what happens next. So they're taking him away to the pavement. Pushing him away, look. That Palestinian protester is still coming right in front of the police and being aggressive towards Nia. And they're trying to have a go at his banner. Again, showing that shows solidarity and support for a proscribed terrorist group. So they should have been arrested. And look at it now, look. <laughs> They're bringing them down on the floor. Four of them are trying to restrain him. To the delight of the pro-Palestine supporters. And then they were taken to Wood Green Police Station. Uh, in fact, I've been told that um, to begin with, they just held them in the van for two hours before taking them to uh, Wood Green Police Station. Now, this video is actually posted by Five Pillars, which is a pro-Iranian uh, organization within the UK. Look at them, look at, look at, they, look at how happy they are that police have arrested Niak. And Niak is telling them, I'm not doing anything wrong. Hamas is a terrorist group. It's a prescribed terrorist group. This is terrible. Why is no journalist shown this to Mark Rowley? Why is, why, is, why is no one reporting it? I don't think even GB News have got around to reporting it yet. Look how many of them are trying to... Uh, um, restrain uh, Mark and he's not resisting arrest six of them for what? for holding a banner that says Hamas are terrorists? that's an arrestable offence in this country? so why are you prescribing Hamas as a terrorist group then? Unreal. Now, Niak was finally released. Um, it was taken to Wood Green Police Station. He was uh, kept there. Um, they've taken away his GoPro from him. Um, they haven't given his GoPro back, uh, from what he told me. 
And um, this is what he posted um, um, yesterday on his Instagram. He said, um, yesterday, despite having court permission to attend the pro-Palestinian, uh, or he's put in brackets, Hamas, which is really, they're, they really are pro-Hamas, they're not pro-Palestinian, uh, to attend the pro-Hamas rally with a sign that said Hamas is a terrorist. My friends Mark and I were brutally arrested by the police. The police were entirely focused on removing us and hiding our sign, while several people physically assaulted me right in front of them. We can see that in the video. Yet they showed no reaction. The police showed no reaction and instead they arrested us. The, re the reason given uh, for our arrest was breaching the peace and carrying the Hamas is a terrorist sign to begin with. However, after some coordination by the officer who had arrested me, before even arriving at custody and while still at the police station, the arresting officer declared that I was free to go. But now my arrest was supposedly for injuring the shoulder of a police officer. Right, I didn't see anything in that video uh, about Niak uh, attacking a police officer or injuring their shoulder. They've obviously realised, talking to their superiors, that um, they can't arrest him for holding a banner that says Hamas is a terrorist and they've tried to frame him with another charge. Um, but um, let's see, let's see what happens. But this is really, really disturbing when you see the police. I'm not even sure if the police realise that Hamas is a UK government prescribed terrorist group. They're certainly not acting that way. I mean, um, they should be arresting the people that are trying to remove that banner, uh, not arresting people um, that are holding a sign that says Hamas is a terrorist group. What is the police up to? Is Mark Rowley aware of this sort of thing? Isn't this two-tier policing? Judge for yourself.